All right, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Risen 3 here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We're here again in Little Inquisition Camp here on Fog Island. <laughs> Looks like Commandant Carlos, or Carlos, as this genius here calls him, shaking things out. I don't know. Anyway, so, ooh, a spyglass. Let's not take their stuff, though, especially while, while they're looking. Last time, we... Excuse us, excuse us. There's one of the portals we've opened up. But yeah, last time we went and killed a, what was it? A, a soul eater that was pretending to be a very suspicious dock. It came up through that hole right over there, I think. And let's see. Nope, nope, okay. You have to get con used to the controls again. There. Yeah, over here. There was a suspicious duck. It was actually like a tur possessed turkey or something, and it was contained a one of the soul eater demons. And then we went and discovered this, sh like a graveyard of ships. Apparently, this island is not well known, and ships sometimes just wreck on it. So that was interesting. And then we went over here, and we fought a bunch of cave bats. Those creepy, weird cave bats that kind of are like that dude on the Great Mouse Detective. Anyways. That's a weird show, dude. Have you ever seen The Great Mouse Detective? It's a weird cartoon. Snake Root. Oh, there's some... Yeah, let's leave them alone. These things are cool looking. Yes, 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 yes. I think they did a good job of animating them. Uh-oh. Make sure we're not getting ambushed by something. Okay. Hello, and welcome to me. Wildlife channel. Here we're today we're going to be looking at these crazy bad attitude imitation chocobos. It looks like that one's trying to bite the Bones's, you know, nameplate. <laughs> yeah, but look at them. They're pretty cool. That one's. Hey, he's eating something. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Our mate's nature documentary notwithstanding, let's actually see what we're going to do today. Zoom out. I think today, since we went and did this area over here, we didn't find any soul eaters up there except for this one right here. So we found one. So I think we're going to go explore over here. There's this. Okay, that's actually... So there's this area. There's this area. This area, this area looks like a little lagoon or something, and then finally this area over here. So, let's see what we can do. Ugh. What? Do oh my goodness! I was like, what the? Okay. There we are. <laughs> a snapper. Alright, pal. Oh, there's another one. Oh, wow. Snapper. Bones is here! Bones is here! Oh, good job, Bones. Jeez. Quit hitting bones. Oh, mate, he dodged that totally. Jeez, mate, look what you're doing. All righty. Hmm. Got his tongue. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Sneak up on it. It won't know what hit him. Eat a quick provision. Get a bot at eight. I don't think there's any shortage bones. Jeez. That was fast. 
<laughs> Sent him flying. Jeez. That was fast. All right. Wow. Those are aggressive. I wonder, they're slightly different than the other snappers, the dragon snappers, I think it was. Yeah, you. I'm Come here. Oh my gosh, mate. You blew that one. I was trying to. Never mind. <laughs> Bamsis. Alrighty. Wow, these guys are. Hmm. You want to do some alien bones? No, I'm fine. I mean, you know, could you ail me? No, I'm fine. Alrighty, so. Oh, we're getting kind of away from the area I was saying we were going to explore. I wonder what's up here. This little. Little ridge, little plateau. Hmm. Uh, let's go back up this way. And actually do what I said we were gonna do. <laughs> hmm. Ah, oh, here's something. Berries. Got a provision. That's good. Alright, then let's go this way then. This is a pretty cool island, I have to say. Ugh. The aesthetic is pretty cool. It's kind of eerie. Oh, it looks like a little, like a, it's a henge. Ugh. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Bones. I was looking at the architecture. Disgusting! No one said you can make noise. Uh, Disgusting. Spider. Shall I tell you something about the nature of man? Go on. If you abandon two people on an island, both of them try to come up with the reasons to kill the other one. And I thought you were going to tell me something uplifting. <laughs> That's a good response, mate. Oh wait, uh oh, uh oh, there's somebody. Well, let's, we can start out nice. We can always get ugly real quick. Fireflower. For me, me boy Mario. Some little rats. Now, I made a promise to a viewer, I did. Well, actually, they right, I did. That I would, wouldn't just go and kill rats nearly willy if they weren't doing anything actually flesh. wrong. Flesh. Living flesh. Let's have a closer look at you. What a weirdo. <laughs> I'm not a sample for you to taste. <laughs> Looks like you haven't eaten in a while. Oh, very observant, oh sighted one. Thanks. <laughs> Are you looking for answers? Perhaps I've got some for you. Death brings wisdom to one that is often lacking in life. See a ghost? Not particularly motivating. <laughs> uh, bones, you're the best. Um, let's see. Yeah, who Tell are you? Tell me more about yourself. Balthazar the mage. Balthazar. That's how people once addressed me. I'm the lord of this island. But who am I dealing with? Neither. My spirit's been taken. Is that so? And yet, apparently, you can talk, taste, feel, and see. Remarkable. You look like you want to unearth the secrets of this island. Go ahead. You have my blessing. Balthazar the mage. Uh, it's like like with like the name the name of one of the three magi in the you know the like the old traditional, like that visited Jesus, not like. In the Bible, it doesn't say, it just says Magi from the East, but, you know, traditionally it's been the number three. And then uh, there was also the, the traditional names of Melchior, Gaspar, and Balthazar. 
Like Melchior, Gaspari, Balthasar, Los Reyes, da di 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 di. But um, in the, in the song. But yeah, so I I guess he's just named after Balthazar. I don't think that it's supposed to be that this dude visited baby Jesus, but you know, who knows? But yeah, good name for a mage. What will I find here? Fools find death. Uh-oh. Maybe you'll have more luck. But you're not the first to settle here. So you'd better hurry if you want to dig up your treasure. Treasure? Well, I already found me death, so, um, hopefully I got the fool out of my system. Okay. What kind of place is this? It is the beginning of a new age. The hour of birth of the shadow ascending from the mist. But it still needs time. Okay. So, this island is special. Yes. yes. One's death has meaning here. Elsewhere. The corpses just rot slowly. Hmm. How long have you been dead? I've seen centuries come and go. Time has lost its meaning to me. So did you see centuries come and go, or did you, um... Or has it lost its meaning? Kind of seems contradictory. In a way, but maybe maybe he's just like you know, eh, centuries are not very big deal anymore. Time has lost its meaning. I guess you know when I guess the passing of centuries no longer seems like a long time to him, or even multiple lifetimes. So maybe he did. Maybe he was there, you know, for baby Jesus. Although I I don't know. I I don't think so. <laughs> Does baby Jesus is he real in this this version of reality? I don't know. I imagine, but. Who knows? <laughs> so, you're freaking joking. I don't believe anything that's not just plainly obvious. Uh, pal, you've seen some weird stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, that's raw. So, that long. Even eternity is only an illusion. When the shadows envelop you, you see the world with different eyes. That's one of the more stupid things I've heard in a while. Yeah, that's all I was going to say. Oh, um, man. Yeah, that was really stupid. Oh, yeah, mate? In what way? Um, I don't know. What were you going to say? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. He's basically saying the passing of centuries is, you know, he's once he's you know, he's dead and basically immortal as a ghost. You know, he doesn't pet. I mean, he's immortal. He died, but he's a ghost. So now he's not going to... He keeps persisting. And onward and onward and onward in his weird afterlife. And so the passing of centuries is meh. And so eternity, it seems like an illusion now to him. But I, how would it be an illusion? If only way it's possible is if it, by eternity he means just simply the, un, the, ever, the un, unlimited, indefinite passing of time. But of course, that's not what eternity in its primary sense is. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've talked about this in several of my Let's Plays by now. And I would say normally, people saying talking that way is understandable. But he's a freaking a mage. And a, a dead one who's lived for centuries. So, I don't know. Eternity is... In fact, what he's basically talking about is he's become more eternal. Closer to being eternal. And it's the passing of time, even an infinite passage of time, seems more like an illusion to him. Yeah, that's what he probably means, but, you know, he talks like an idiot. So let's see, maybe he's hiding his, you know... Maybe he's hiding something? What are you not telling me? Why do I get the feeling you're hiding something from me? I serve as a guide for the Seekers. And you are seeking something. However... My secret will remain hidden from you. Only the one who has found the vestiges of time will reveal it. Um, sure. United in the afterlife. What did you mean when you said vestiges of time? Listen carefully. To the south was dispatched by deadly clutches snatched. 
Filled with signs washed up on eastern shorelines. High up in the southeast, where the rats on his bones feast. And that's supposed to help me. <laughs> well, put some effort into it. <laughs> to share their fate. Put some effort into it. Wow. What do you think, rat? I think that uh, um, I only our our newly declared truce does not make us friends yet. But hopefully, if your good behavior continues, then maybe we can have some conversation. Yeah, all right. I I I, I see. Now let's put some effort into it. So the south by deadly talons no, snatched to the east. I don't know. I was talking about a blood beast or. And then high in the southeast where rats upon the bones did feast. Is that what he said? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll get it. But probably not this episode, to be perfectly frank. Bam says Shadow Fire. I don't know what that does, but it sounds pretty cool. Alright, cool. Oh, and here is a teleporter. So it seems like that's probably the big mystery on... Alright. Alright. Fog Island? But first... We have Soul Eaters to get rid of. And we are... Sharp Eye. As it is right now, kind of remiss in that duty. We've only gotten two of them, so let's see. <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so... Well, that was interesting. Let's see, that spider charged out from over here. So let's go over here. Maybe there's more spiders to dispatch. Why do I gotta dispatch them? Ooh. Oh, yep, there it is. Hey, you, yeah, you yeah, stupid yeah, looking. Yeah. Like he said. Oh, it jumped up. That's disgusting. Oh, two for the price of one. Oh, that's totally true. Lots of spiders can jump. Oh, shut up. Excellent work, mate. Excellent work. Leave bones alone, you creepy crawlies. I hate insects. Bones. They're not insects, but yeah, but who cares? Yeah, you're, you're just a bunch of insects. You six-legged little jackasses. They have eight legs. Then why are you calling them insects? Uh, well, I don't know. Why are you yelling at me? Oh my gosh, don't tell me. Yes. I'm going Blip. to crush a few skulls now. A few carapaces, you mean? Oh, a good dodge. Oh my gosh, shut up. Man, probably hurt him more though, or her. We don't know. Him or her. Her or him. Gross. I'm going to make a hat out of you. That'll be one intimidating hat. I'll tell you that much, Bones. I wouldn't want to mess with someone who wore a forest spot as a hat. I hate insects. No, just whatever, Bones. Just call them whatever you want. Get over here, you creepy crawly. I like what Patty says. Bloody spiders! Bloody spiders! <laughs> like Patty's like, should have run away on its eight legs. Teach him to mess with me. Get over here, you creepy crawly! Ah. Man. Ooh! Ew! Ew, that little jack and ape spider. Okay, calm down, mate. You did a good job. <laughs> uh, I can't stand it when they spit on him. Gross. All right, this is interesting. This is creepy spider forest. Berries. That's very good. <laughs> Bag of gold. Oh, 50 gold. Nice. I think... Oh, a teleporting stone. Score. What we need to do, I think, as far as skills, now that we've gotten the ability to make liquor, is we need to get the ability to make potions. Because we have a lot of these, um, what do you call them? 
You're like, what do you call them? You're the one telling us, right? Yeah, yes. We have a lot of those, like, flowers and plants that we've harvested that give bonuses. Oh, there's a Betty Bar. It's a Betty Bar. So I could have nightmares if I wanted to. Okay. Well, let's see. Nope, nope. But yeah, we have... Uh, oh, that's a nice view of the island. Let's see. So there's that that henge we were at. And there's a bunch of other stuff. Oh, there's the, the wrecks of the ships. Cool. But we could... I think if you use those plants just by themselves, they give you a little bit of a boost. But if you do the po make them into a potion, they can give you a huge boost. Intricate lock. Intricate lock. I want to try something. We have... Inventory. Let's see, usable items. Oh, we have some raw chicken we need to cook up. I say we have the, these adventures, you know, liquors, magic liquor, magical items, weapons, potions of persuasion. Huh. We've gotta remember that we have this stuff. Oh, this is cool. This potion strengthens the effect of other potions. You I think you take it and then you use another potion. Ah, right here. See? You will have nimble fingers, and you can now pick even the most complicated of locks. Pretty cool, right? So, I'm going to try using this. Yeah! Hey, uh. This is a big one. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Okay. No. No. Okay. Nope. This may take me a bit. <laughs> this one's actually kind of complicated. Okay. No? Okay, so... Hmm. Alright, well, let's see. Uh -huh. Okay, so... Okay. I think I got it. I got it. All right. That was cool. <laughs> oh, I hope there's something good in here. A war hammer? Oh my gosh. This heavy war hammer head makes this elite... The heavy war... Blah, blah. The heavy hammer head... Hammer head makes this a lethal weapon. It has the ability or... Oh, you can turn it into a spirit hammer. Wow. Perfect choice when battling spirit creature, shadow creatures if you upgrade it. Cool. Meat. Blood liquor. And what minuscule amount of gold. Oh boy. Well, hopefully that was worth it, mate. <laughs> Let's actually just check this out. Whoa, no, no, no. Right hand. Okay, we have the officers of P. This is quite a bit heavy, um, more powerful. Hmm. Slashing weapons, swords. Let's just give it a whirl. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Let's. How does it feel? <clears throat> huh. Yeah, we'll give it a whirl. All right. Well, that worked, anyways. Gotta remember the potions we have. Although that used up my thief's potion. Oh, I also figured out why a couple times I've tried. I've edited them out a couple times because it was just wasting time on an already, you know, time stretched out video. Forest Fighter, thank you for the eye. 
Eye of the spider. Oh, that's a barrel. I thought that was another one of those egg sacks or cocoons or whatever they are. <laughs> Why I, I was not able to open those treasure chests with the magic rust scrolls. That second number there, like you know, you're just the first number that is your lockpick score requirement. That second number is your magic score requirement. How high your magic... Oh, jeez. Hey, leave some for me! How high your magic score has to be. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, we, we are... I was screwed up there. Okay, that's one down. Good job, Bones. My gosh! This guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Got him. Good job. Good job, mate. Mate. Go, go, go. Dang. Those snappers are ferocious opponents, I will say. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> All right. Wow. That was... Uh, <laughs> they're, they're kind of intimidating. All righty. Let's see. But basically, my skills haven't been up to yet, and I haven't been putting much in skill points into magic because I haven't yet really got a magic trainer. Because I haven't actually joined a faction. The first option we had to do so was the the Kila. Let's see, where are we going? I'm not sure I want to join the Kila, though. The Kila are cool, don't get me wrong. They are really cool. Let's actually go to the left. His our mates left, that is. I'm going to make a hat out of your skin. What what would you see? What'd you see? Where, where, where? Where's the hat? oh. Oh! A water lizard! I got him, cooked his goose, painted his wagon. <laughs> Why are you doing so many chores for him? Didn't we just kill him? No, it's an expression, Bones. You see, I cooked his goose. Well, yeah, but you know, cooking a goose is a time-consuming process. <clears throat> That's not the point. Oh, jeez. Oh. All right. Woo-ha! Um, Bones. Oh, Bones, what are you doing? Bones, what are you doing? You would not be okay after that. You would not be okay after that. Oh, jeez. Wow, well played, Swamp Golem. I mean, it's pretty good. Wow. Jeez. That's a good kill. <laughs> that was cool. Now, what was it guarding? Anything? Maybe it was guarding nothing and we just violently killed it from the- Oh my goodness! <laughs> no reason! That's what I get for feeling sorry for a swamp golem. Uh, what? Button. There we are. <laughs> well, you just lost, saw me. 
lose a few hours of life scared out of me. Um, mate. Oh, good job. I think you need to check your pants, narrator. You know what? I would say that you, you need to be quiet, but you're probably correct. Jeez Louise, that startled the living the jeepers out of me. <laughs> Whoa, man. All right. So he was guarding. Um... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of expected that, though, that time. Yeah. This Warhammer is pretty good, I will say. Yeah. All right. Anybody else want to leap out of the wall and try to scare me? I'd say go ahead and try, but it's a little late. The scaring has already been done. I said they startled me, pal me, not scared me. Oh, no, I heard you. You were scared. All righty. Well, that's over there. Hmm. Huh. Think, okay, let's go back up here and finish up over here. So, trying to be a little bit methodical. Jump down the waterfall. Woohoo! Let's go this way. Anybody else want to jump out? I think we were already here. Yeah. Let's try going this way then. Oh, there's oh, one of those mon monitor lizards or whatever they are. Hmm. Let's see if we can avoid fighting any of them. Unless, of course, it is impossible. Whoa. A weathered message, a message in, a bottle. in a bottle. I wonder what it says. I don't know. Let's, um... Let's take a look. Uh, 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 uh. Usable items? Or loot? Or all? Wave of energy, rust, healing, crystal torch, old chess key, chess key, hammers. Hilt, cha 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 cha. Grace's message, blue flower, Astro Quartz, Pirate's Creed, Great Marine Expedition, Pirate Story, On Sea Battles. Paw, eyes, legs, tongue, feather, bone, knowledge, plate. Ah, here it is. This bottle probably once held delicious rum. Looks like it contains a note. Let us stray. Received weathered message in a bottle one. Now do I have to find that stupid thing? Ah, right here. Lucky. Our ship has run aground, our water supplies are drying up, and the gunpowder has become useless. But not all is lost, for the island is inhabited. inhabited. We met an old undead geezer, <laughs> said something about treasure nearby. But we'll dig it up before the crackpot realizes just who he told about it. S. Huh. Alright. I have a feeling that S did not come to a good fate. All right, so that's one of those things for that ghost quest. I guess there's three of those messages lying around, perhaps, in various places. Let's see it. Look at the map of the island. Let's see, he was... Is that the, to the east? Or is that the... Hmm, I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Right now we're just exploring and looking for 
Soul Eaters. Clam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. You wanna die, lizard? The lock no? is too intricate for me. The lock is too intricate for me. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if we should have opened this one instead. You see that mill? Huh. I don't get it. Well, let's actually try. Save. Okay, the middle number is blue. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, we should be high enough. We have 15, right? Let's see. No, right here. 15, crystal magic. Let's just give it a whirl. Too difficult. Too difficult. Alright. Let's see. Intricate lock. The lock is too intricate for me. Too difficult. See, again, I don't know what... Intricate lock. It didn't seem to do anything. No, no good. So, I'm going to just reload it because I... Oh yeah. Nah, we'll just leave it. We just have two rust scrolls, though. Damn, blast it. Let's try over here. I'm not... Maybe we, it's because we haven't actually trained in... Crystal magic? I don't know. I thought I had figured it out. You know what, chicken? You better sh be quiet and leave me alone. I'm in a bad mood. Let's see what's over here. Some clamshells. Cut, cut clam shells. Any sand devils? Anybody over here? Can we go over here? I doubt it. We're probably going to get turned back. Look at that scenery. That's really cool. Nope. Alright, we cannot. That is cool scenery, though. How about over here? Can we go to this shipwreck? Out here? We can get out to it, but can we do anything with it is the question now. Okay, is there anything here? Oh, we... No, that's the treasure chest we were just at. No, turn around. Mate. Very good. Okay, what is up here? A spell scroll. Rust. It's like, here you go. So you can open that chest. I can't get that to work though, yo. So, thanks, but no thanks. I have not cracked the code on that. If anyone knows how to do that, and you, you know, feel like spending, you know, 30 seconds typing a comment, let me know. If I'm missing something like, you know, I have to have training with the, actually have to have training with the, the the mages before I can actually use the rust scrolls, but that doesn't make sense to me. I guess I'm able to use other magical things without actually joining their faction. Hmm. Alright, anything else here? I think not. Or if it is, I haven't seen it. Yeah, nope, nope. What in the heck is... Oh, it's a cat. A cat. Some sort of big old cat. Let's leave it alone. I don't like killing cats. I mean, we'll kill him if he attacks us, but... We can avoid him and not kill him. I want to see what's... Eh. Over there, though. Sorry, lizard. You have to die.
Thank you, the bounds. Appreciate it. It's like my mate's attacks were just going right through it <laughs> when he was up on that hill. Okay, anything? That I guess we killed it for no good reason. Well, that's a shame. Damn it. Um, sorry about your friend there. <laughs> if there's any consolation, I, um, thought there'd be some treasure there or something. Of course, the lizard's like, how is that any consolation to me? That dude owed me money. I'm like, oh, well, sorry. You know you have the real estate to yourself. I mean, there's that, I suppose. Okay. Well, that was something, I suppose. We did get one of those messages for that quest the ghost gave us, so I guess there's that. But next time, I think we're going to go over here. Uh-oh, look. See it? Skellies. Skellies right over there. Yeah, so bones. Uh, bones. Meat bones. My long-lost kin. Not really bones. You're just name bones. Maybe you were saw bones. You were like a doctor. Oh, yes. Never mind. Those are just shadow skeletons. So, yeah. So, next time, I'm going to head over here and see what's up. Maybe there's a soul eater over there since where there's skeletons, there's usually shadows. So, I'm going to thank you for joining me on this episode of my Let's Play of Risen 3 here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all.